Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Kyle. I recently was able to pick up a Zeiss Icon Netar. This is a 70 year old film camera. It was made in about the mid fifties and a good friend of mine, Alex from Halton Camera. Shout out Alex if you're watching this. He let me borrow it for the weekend. So of course I had to take it out and put a few rolls through it. This is a six by six medium format camera. The focus ring has distances along the ring and this is how far your subject should be from the camera. So I was essentially guessing a little bit uh, if my pitches were in focus because I didn't have a tape measure or anything on me. Um, so I was shooting at a higher aperture just to be safe. Overall, I was pretty happy with the pictures and I think at a good shoot. My brother and I, Stu, went out to an old abandoned building, took some portraits and some street landscape type photos. I was also using my Nikon 35 millimeter camera with Portra 800 that night. We went around sunset and the lighting was super nice. Without further ado, um, let's get into the vlog. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, we're just taking some portraits here though. Uh, the lighting's kind of cool. These shadows are really nice. Um, there's some cool textures and stuff here. Yeah, uh, just finishing up at this spot. Might go somewhere else, drive around, we'll see. We'll see what we find. Update, we're at a baseball field. It's kind of nice. Take some pictures maybe. We just found these cool logs to sit on. Yeah. Just watching sunset until hopefully those lights behind there turn on. We can get some cool pictures maybe. Overall, I was actually really happy with this camera. When I got these scans back, I was super pleased with them. They were a lot better than what I thought I would get. I was expecting a lot of them to be out of focus and surprisingly, most of them were actually in focus. You can pick one of these up for about $170. That's what it's listing for at Halton Camera Exchange and you can also find them all over eBay. Although this video is more of a first impressions with the camera, 
rather than a more technical review. I will provide some links in the description of some videos that I found of other YouTubers um, commenting what their thoughts were and they did more of a thorough review on it. Overall, I think it's a cool, fun camera, although I don't know if I would recommend it. It's kind of harder to use and especially with the focus ring, it's a lot of guesswork and I think I was lucky with most of the photos, but I think it's almost a safer bet just to go with a 35 millimeter. They're about the same price and the images looked pretty good from both. And I think at that price range, it's it's safer to go with a 35 millimeter. Um, you're also getting 36 shots per roll rather than 12 on six by six medium format. So it's a bit more forgiving and a bit more economical. I plan to do a second shoot with my friend Lexi. I'm a barista. And, but unfortunately in this shoot, the camera actually started to malfunction and the shutter speed was sticking, causing the shutter to be open for a longer period of time than what I had uh, it set to. So a lot of the shots were overexposed and shaky. I called Alex, he gave me some good advice by just pressing the shutter a bunch to see if it unsticks, especially since the shot, the last shot was already overexposed and eventually it did unstick so the next morning i went for a walk with my mom and my dog down the street and i snapped some of these photos with portrait 160. i was actually pretty pleased with these images as well since i fixed the shutter they were no longer overexposed or shaky and for the most part they were in focus but all in all i had a lot of fun and i hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one